officers here with Tommy McCarthy. Tommy, uh, you've just signed up uh, with the MTK and you're hoping for your first day coming up here on the 21st of October. Oh uh, yeah, so I was just saying with, as you said, with MTK. My first fight is scheduled on this Burnett undercard, the 21st of October, so yeah. looking forward to getting back in the ring. And just for saying that we're MTK, you've been a long time with Pat McGee in that there, and, and, and the MTK is going to bring new opportunities for you? Yeah, um, Pat McGee was, was good to me, he looked after me, and um, you know, he gave me a good start in a career that I needed, but um, MTK at the minute are leading the charge in, in European and world boxing so you know when they, they came to me and asked me you know to come on board with a team but I had no other choice really um, for the, in terms of my career like yeah. because if I want to move forward you have to be with the with the, the team that's moving forward and MTK is the ones. Yeah and uh, you've been out from last, last November, I was your last fight mm. but you, you, you were still keeping busy you were over at Tony Bailey's camp and stuff like that weren't yeah. you were helping you're helping fight other fighters out weren't you? Yeah, so I've been busy. I've been in the gym since then, and like I was hoping to fight since that fight in November. I thought I would have been fighting in January, and I was hoping for February and so on and so forth. So every month, you know, I was looking at the prospect of fighting from January up until now, until September. So I've been in the gym training, and as he said, I was helping Tony Bellew with with the hay fight, and I've been helping some other guys get ready. So um, I've been busy, but there's a difference any boxer will tell you you can do all the sparring and stuff you want but you need to be in the ring in the environment under the lights to get the ring sharpness yeah so, so and, and you're coming back here and your next fight here at Ram Renat you're, you're hoping maybe for a few rounds maybe four rounder something like that well I'll confirm I'm doing a six rounder so six rounder. Um, hopefully I get a couple of rounds out of the, the, the opponents yet to be confirmed but you know if I can get them out of there in one I'll do it if not I'll, t I'll just take my time but uh, the whole thing is just going through the whole process of being in fight mode so that's all I'm really looking forward to. Yeah we'll see you have an MTK as your management and, pr and promotion company. I mean you could be talking a lot about fights in the next year couldn't you? Yeah well um, Matt, Matthew Macklin says me I'm going to be busy so you know I have to I can't thank him enough for him getting me on board with a team and you know helping to jump start my career again so it looks like it's going to be a busy next 18 months if everything goes according to plan. We're going to talk about you going for the Irish title, or would, uh, I mean, that's further down the lane for you, is it? Well, there's new rules now with the, with the board, so I can't box for the Irish title because I don't have an Irish license now. Right. So if you want to box for the title, you have to have it for six months. You have to get it and then hold it for six months before you're eligible. So it looks like, as far as the, the Irish title is, it's already a question. What, I'm definitely looking at titles, that's what I want. Yeah, so it'll be maybe a British title down the lane, just to yeah. give yourself up until that type of fight again? Yeah, I want to get back up in the you know, championship level boxing. Um, my last two fights have been championship level, so I want to get back to where I was because I feel comfortable there and you know that's where I belong. I know you're over here training in Peak to Seek, is this, your, is this one of your sponsors? Uh, but where, where can you see yourself training in the future? Will you be Belfast based or will you be going out to Marbella with the rest of the lads? No, um, well, you know, potentially I could go out to Marbella, maybe do a week or two with the lads, but um, I'm going to be based in Manchester, as I've uh, already announced that after the Askins fit. I'm still going to be based there with Anzi Bingham. So that's where I'm going to be doing my training camps, but in the meantime, I'm here training Peak Physique. Yeah. My, they've been sponsoring me for a, a wee while and they let me in to use the gym so we train in here and then doing wee bits and pieces with Raymond Ginley when yeah. I'm at home. Well that's, that's great that you're going to keep that stability and you're going to keep what you're used to over in Manchester yeah. and, and build what you've been building there for the last, you know, last 10 months, you know, that, that sounds good, you know. Yeah that's it, you know I feel comfortable there, me and um, Ansley Bingham we've gelled and you know even though we haven't had a fight yet We've done a lot of work from December till now, so you know I'm looking forward to just taking that final box, so having him in the in the fight corner because obviously he's been in the sparring corner in it. So you know the way everything is in regards to training, all is sitting right, and the only missing link was getting the opportunity. So now that, as I said, I'm with MTK, the doors are going to start opening. Touch wood. <laughs> 
to tune in. Is there any fainters out there that you would like to fade again or you, did you, you'd like in the future, you know? I see, in terms of in particular fighters, there's none of them who like I have a vendetta. I want to fight him. I just want to fight anybody who's going to take me to the next level. So I'm not looking at the opponents. I'm looking at the the titles and where I want to be. Obviously, there was a lot of back and forth going on between me and Luke Watkins over the last few months. But don't know what's happening in regards to that fight at the minute. But. That's definitely probably the one fight that interests me the most, just because of the much talking. Yeah. See, see, after your last fight, where they really asked do you think you've matured a bit? Do you think you've learned from that fight? You know, do you think you've learned, took something out of the fight like that? Oh, I look at says after the Askins fight that at the time obviously it was devastated and I thought yeah. Jesus, my career was finished and it almost kind of was finished to be honest with you. But I know. But um, I looked at it. And I took a lot of positives away from it, and it was really a blessing in disguise. A lot of stuff happened for the first time, which you know won't happen again. I was put down for the first time in my in my ever career, sparring amateur pro. I took my first pro loss. I went 12 rounds for the first time, which you know was an unexpected thing too. So um, you know all those boxes have been ticked. So now I'm ready to push forward. You know like. The Askins fight, I never knew it was a uh, excuse me, I never knew it was a twelve rounder until the morning of the fight. The whole time I was training for a ten. So, you know, all these things all came at once. Yeah. I was able to get them out of the way, know that I can do it and you know it's it's held me in good stead. Well here you go, right? You're gonna be the MDK and you and you're gonna be able to get more this this will probably get you more fights at home. Do you think this that will help you get more fights at home? I mean I think I've only never seen you fight here. I've, I've only fought here, no, I fought here twice. Um, I fought in the Davenish one time and then I fought in the Falls Park. So, uh, people for, the Falls one's the kind of one that people remember because it was a big one, I was headlining it now, but um, yeah, it'd be great to have all the crowd, yeah, definitely, get all the all the local people out. And um, I'm from Landon, so we got all the Landowners out, and then a box in Alley Town, so you know, all the Andy Turners come in to support me, and pretty much all West Belfast, so it's great to have the home support. It's a melt going away to, you know, like to England, and you're fighting all these big cities, and it's good to travel on that, but yeah. you're coming in there boxing, everybody's looking at you, who's this guy? Well, it's better to come out and everybody's cheering, everybody gets behind you, so. Yeah, well, that's it, tell me, you have to build your home support, and you're yeah. fighting away all the time, you know, nobody you're knows you. You don't expect people to travel all the Of course not. But having at home, you can build the support and the yeah. people can follow you and they can come exactly. out and cheer you. So like when you, if I build up at home for the next few fights and people start getting to know me and start coming out to watch me, then when I'm fighting in a major fight, if it was in England or elsewhere, people will travel to come and watch me. But at the start, I couldn't be get, like ring people going, here, as we're doing a four round here yeah. and Leeds want to come over. Yeah. Oh, like, Balik's telling me. Yeah, well, that's, that's the thing that you're going, hopefully your next big five or six fights could be in Belfast. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Belfast seems to be a good spot for them. You know, it's not true. Like, yeah, know? I 100% agree. So, yeah. you know, it looks like I will be at home boxing more regular, and I'm happy with it. And, you know, my friends and people close to me are happy with it. And a lot, there's loads of boxing people who have never watched me, like, actually fight in real life. So, they're dying to come. A lot of people just see me boxing on Sky or boxing on Spike TV or. No stuff like that. Even as far back, some people remember me from the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. So people want to come and, and, and watch. So, you know. You the yeah. Get you. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, this next year, people will be able to get behind you. You know what, way. But, uh, so I was, I was talking to you down in the over there at uh, um, the press conference, and you, 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 were, you were talking away in a match room and stuff like that. And, uh, and so they finalised You actually got through to them, and, you know. I will, everything, as I said, I, have, I am only a boxer, so all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, I don't really know what's going on, and that does why people, you have a manager and you have all that stuff, so, you know, um, as far as my room go, I'm, like, not saying to my room or anything, I don't want people getting, but you, you want to be on them shows yeah. and on that platform, because that's how you build, but, um, once again, MTK, 
are the ones who can get together and have proved that my first fight here under the MTK banner is going to be on a, a matching show. So. Yeah. Well, tell me. We wish you well from Belfast Boxers, and, and, and as I say, hopefully maybe your next 10 fights can be in Belfast. That's it. You can build your support and we'll get the team at Army out to, out to support 100% you. 100% and right. everybody come out. So, before we go, I just want to give yep. Pig Vizik yep. a, a shout out again because they've been great. Yep. And anybody wants to come down and train here, it's a great spot to train because, yep. you know, like there's no posers or anything and everybody just goes about their business. And uh, I want to give a shout out to my our sponsor, DTP Real. Yep. who are making it possible for me to travel back and forward to Manchester. And um, if anybody else wants to sponsor, go ahead, just... Give team mag a shout. Sponsors are always welcome. Well, there you go. Thank you for Belfast Sponsors. Right, no problem. Thanks very much. Thank